This video is about the new Parola restaurant here in Roro, Cordoba. I'm here right now in the new restaurant called Parola located here in Roro, Cordoba. So this is new. I haven't seen this before. Um, the last time I came here to vlog and here are some of the samples of their menu. That's the sabaw, that's a soup. It, this is a Filipino restaurant by the way. So that's the soup. That's the tinolang manok, boneless puchero, um, sirigang pork. I just have to... So I know this is not old bees cuisine he don't eat Filipino food so there's the rice for family this is um, something that we will enjoy we Filipinos enjoy drinks and prescinter, iced tea, they got coffee, gulaman, bottled water. And there's the main dishes the pork, barbecue, crispy pata, Shanghai, lechon kawale, the chicken, chicken barbecue seafood so I know all we don't enjoy this but they got a bilao 600 pesos good for two to three person all seafood 499 or the mixed meat at 549 the bilao 599 is shrimp chicken all mix you can see there the scrap 499 good for two to three person That's the Parola set meals, crispy pata set, 1,095. This is good for three to four people. So you can see the ambience of the restaurant. It's open to the view here in Bantayan Bay. That's the name of the restaurant, Parola Restaurant. And there you can see right across you have the beauty of the Bantayan Bay, which is now full up with loads of people bonding with their family and friends because it's Holy Week. That's the favorite day to go on the beach. It's, it's supposed to be the Holy Week is the hottest day of the summer, but not anymore. We have been hit by a typhoon. So those are those floating cottages that I've been talking about. That the people are renting out for those beach goers. Where they bond and they rent it for 3 to three five for the day. Or some even have it sharing the accommodation. So that's the Bantayan Bay in Cordoba. Overlooking... Well, you are dining here in Parola restaurant. So this is the view that you get here in Parola. And you can already imagine the Filipinos will be doing their selfie there. Where their little walking area on the beach. I believe that they have a branch in um, El Corso. Parola in El Corso. But here, this is more better. I mean, it's a lot better because of the view that is like exclusive to them. Here, the Bantayan Bay of Cordoba. And my husband has to try a little... It's a Filipino restaurant, so he needs to try a little bit of it. 
I didn't order much of the Filipino. <laughs> but you have to. But you have to because you're hungry. And it's too far to go to McDonald's. We are on the way out. We'll tell you that. <laughs> See, still can't get away from their burgers and stuff. He, he's been living so long here in the Philippines that he won't try any of the Filipino seafood dishes. So this is how the ambience of Parola is geared up for family dining together because you can connect all the tables and they have set meals good for three to four person so it is a family geared up restaurant it's right located right beside the port going to Bohol Taliban So I'm giving you a tour of the restaurant's view here, the Corolla of Cordoba. Before I proceed, I have to check out the actual Corolla, it means the lighthouse here in Cebu. It's a Spanish word for lighthouse. And this is their iconic thing for the lighthouse. You can see that they're geared up for outdoor dining. That's the Parola. They got their whatever writing it is. I can't read it. But this restaurant, Parola, is overlooking the Bantayan Bay. And like I said, there's a lot of selfie goers now that the rain has stopped. It's quite a nice cozy restaurant considering that it's quite quiet here before here in Roro and all you get is the little kiosk of food that I was joking to old B like uh, something to try on but I know that he won't be happy with that kind of food. The local um, Ponko Ponko. So they have this little area where you can walk and take pictures. You can hear the screams from the excited people bonding together with their families there in, their, in those floating cottages. We even got those one that is properly stuck on, not just floating. The Bali style, whatever. So that is the, like I said, this is near the terminal of the port to go to Bohol by a Cordoba. Cool. Nice to go to the beach now because it's all off to work, no school holy week but look at the weather it's not playing balls with us considering this supposed to be a very hot week holy week a lot of people going to ball 
going home. So I was told that there are certain boats that you can actually take your car. I might do that one day and let you see Bohol as I tour around. Because after this Holy Week, I'm planning after the storm, not just Holy Week, after the storm has passed, I will be back to my element. Now that I only got three houses, nine, um, nine, ten, and eleven to finish, I will be back and making more videos for the Village People Philippines channel, like what it used to be. Tours, prices, things about interviewing locals and the different interesting things that we have here in Cebu that some of you may not be able to see and also something to look forward to see when you visit Cebu I hope old B will be liking what I've ordered for him it's mostly dessert lechi plan you know kamote roll with ice cream and coffee just to keep him going but I know he'll be going to the McDonald's after here so I'm the ones not eating that these are the fruit, fruit shakes that I ordered for me and Old B this one is the green mango shake and this is the ripe mango shake with ice cream and graham crackers then Old B is moaning because why is it looks like have a dishwashing liquid on it or something like why it's not clear like the green mango shake I just told him it's yours special darling the ice cream and graham powder but he still moans this is the food that we ordered here in Parola I'll have the noodles and I'm old be wants to try the spam rice and egg and you this having most of that as well. <laughs> this is the kamote yeah, roll that's the sweet potato roll. I don't know, I'll just ask. This is the lechi plan. I'll have your lechi plan, you can have that. I might have a little bit of rice there, and you can eat the rest of it, alright? Okay. That's why I don't order so much, because I know I will be having all the LOs left over. So they turn on the light on this parola or the lighthouse that they have as an icon to the restaurant and it says be the light so people can actually go up there on the stairs and overlook but it's not what's the point it's still the same view and you're up there and it's over this But then again, why not? I'll go up. Where did you saka? Where did you saka? Saka, I know. Hola. I can't tell now. Ah, okay. okay. I was asking if I could go up so I could see the view, but she said that they are not allowing people to go up yet because it's not stable. I don't know what you mean. The verdict for the food, actually there's nothing special on their menu. I don't really impress so much. It's just uh, the normal Karinderia food. But it's the ambiance is the best here. Look at the view that you have. Food wise, the best carinderias I've been to is better. But it's worth to try here as well. I mean, you're here in Cebu.